Alright, just about done with day one training. Still got abs to do, but I wanted to talk to you guys before I got to that because I wanted to talk to you guys about my workout regimen and what I do as far as my workout routine. As far as the exercises go, it's nothing special. It's whatever exercises I feel I need to work to better myself athletically because I play golf, I still do martial arts, I like to swim. I cater my resistance exercises around those activities and do motions that complement those uh, <clears throat> exercises or those sports. Whew. This is a really good workout. Really got me out of breath a little bit. But the key principle that I emphasize in every exercise that I do, just like I emphasize in every activity that I do, because I told you guys, activity is anything or physical activity is anything that you do when you are actively up and moving. And when you're doing that, you got to engage your core. You got to keep your core engaged. And when I exercise, just like all trainers do, they tell you guys, keep your core tight while you're exercising. Keep your core tight. Keep your core tight. I take that a step farther. I tighten up my core where it needs to be to do an exercise. Then I tighten it up even more. I put more emphasis on keeping my core tight to really work my core muscles even harder than what it is that they have to work when they do any other exercise. And to really implement that now, I've added a new little gadget to that. You guys saw it in that last video. Taking two cuff weights or ankle cuff weights, strapped them together, and put them here on my core here, around me. And boy, does that ever make your core have to work. It's about 10 pounds, and you can see that it really, really emphasizes core work, because that's where I did all the work at. I made sure for the push-ups I did, for the crunches, or not the crunches, I haven't done those yet, but for the push-ups, for the pull-ups, for the planks, for the kettlebell exercises, for the up-downs, for all of those exercises, I had my core engaged beyond normal reason because I want to overwork those muscles. So I got the whole basis of that principle of keeping your stomach muscles extra tight when you're exercising from a cartoon. A lot of you may know this cartoon. A lot of you may have watched it and still watch it. But I got the idea from Dragon Ball Z and I got it from the main character, Goku. The guy was a genius fighter and a genius when it came to training himself to make sure that he can be the strongest fighter that he possibly could be. And I named my training Super Saiyan training for that reason. Because Goku, the whole premise of being a Super Saiyan is this ability where these humanoid aliens can transform themselves into golden-haired beings when their hair is normally black, but they power themselves up, they transform themselves, transform themselves into these golden-haired fighters they amplify their strength, their speed, their fighting ability. Everything amplifies by hundreds, thousands, whatever the case may be. But when that happens, they lose a lot of that energy and it takes a whole bunch of their stamina and energy to transform and hold that state. And the main character in the cartoon, Goku, thought about it and said, look, we want this ability to last us throughout these fights. So we need to train while we're Super Saiyan and stay Super Saiyan, not just when we're training but in our everyday life, we need to be fully engaged, have this power readily available to us so that when we go and fight, it's no effort for us to transform because it took so much effort and so much energy out of them to transform into these Super Saiyan uh, characters. So to get rid of that whole waste of energy, Goku trained himself to be able to hold his Super Saiyan state all day long. And I took that same principle of being a Super Saiyan, I just implemented in my core. I tighten up my muscles to a state where I consider it to be super and keep those muscles overly engaged when I work out. That way, when I'm not working out, I've overtrained my core to be functioning and working with extra weight and extra resistance and doing heavy activity so that when it's the everyday life that I have to do, the walking, the standing, the sitting, the stuff that really triggers all that nasty stuff in our back and down the back of our legs, my core is already working. It doesn't have to tighten up any extra to do the everyday work because I overtrain it in my training so that it makes my functional life easier to do. 
That's my whole premise behind all of this stuff. What does your fitness do for you? My fitness makes my function easier. I make sure I overtrain here. I overtrain these muscles when I work out so that it's effortless for me to keep them tight when it's time for me to do my everyday work and everyday activity. Because that's what gets us. It's the everyday activity that makes living hard. If you can learn how to live functionally, that easy stuff won't bother. The, the simple stuff that shouldn't bother you won't bother you. Well, I still got abs that I got to do. I hope this video really helps. I hope my training resume makes sense. And it's not just something for me to do. Anyone can implement this into any rec exercise routine. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you tighten up your stomach and tighten it up even more than what you're supposed to be doing for that exercise, it makes a world of difference. It makes the exercise so much harder. I hope that tip helps those who are just getting into exercise, those who have already been exercising, those who may have thought about this principle or this premise before but never really overly emphasized it. See how much more it makes, see how much more effective it makes your workout. If you like what you hear, share, uh, subscribe, share this video with people personally, show them these videos, make sure they're hearing this stuff so they know how to work out, they know how to get the best out of their fitness.